clickbait. It's kind of fun to say, but other than that, there's nothing cool about clickbait. You all know what I'm talking about, right? It's so annoying. Every time I get on the internet or I get on Facebook, I get hit with a barrage of advertisements, and all they ever do is get me disappointment, right? It looks interesting, it looks cool, you click on it, and boom, big letdown. It's probably going to take you somewhere you wish you wouldn't have gone, and you may have even stayed on that site longer than you should have. So I see this play out all the time when I'm on the internet, but it also applies to our whole lives. The bait. What kind of bait are we taking? I want to check out a scripture real quick in Proverbs chapter 4. And it talks all about how we can stay away from clickbait. Proverbs chapter 4, at the end here, it says, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Now this is the point I want you to get. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. So what kind of bait is out there distracting you? What is keeping you from what's really important in life? What's keeping you from what God has you doing right now? Man, I know it's, it, it could be something that's really in your face and you just know it's got to go. Or it could be something a little more elusive, a little more sneaky. You clicked on it because it looked good and it's taking you down a path that you never should have gone down. So I hope this makes sense, and I hope it clicks. Just a little reminder to, like it says in Proverbs, look straight ahead and fix your eyes on on what lies before you. Hey, I hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you. Take care.